What's up guys, Chasing Baby here with episode 49 of Welcome to Roxham, and today our cup run continues with a glamour tie in the second round against Northampton at Six Fields. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave the comments, share with your friends. See you after the intro. So here we are back in business, the league form has taken a big dip probably because of the cup run and we are now only one point clear at the top of the conference table which is not really where we want to be but the cup run is continuing which means the money is continuing to come in and that's always good for us. But let's see what you've missed since the last episode where we got through the first round against Tunbridge Angels. We then played Stockport County and beaten 3-1. With a brace from Grey Glover and a goal from Terrell Pennant. We then beat in Hartlepool 3 1. Ballymumba, Terrell Pennant, and Joe Duffy scoring. Bromley beat us 4 0, which was a bit of a shock, but Josh Schoen getting sent off was almost 100% of the cause of that. Marcus Muir also scoring an own goal in there. We then lost 2 1 to Notts County, with Jaden Williams being our only scorer, as a bunch of our players just didn't turn up. Also, some fitness issues because of the game and the gap between the games. Having to pick a slightly rotated team did not help us at all. We then played Barnet and lost 2-0. No excuses for that one. We were just really rubbish. And now we're playing Northampton. We need to get that form turned back around because Northampton, as we can see from here, are currently set 8th in League 2 in the division above with players who are certainly better than we've got. So, we need a good performance today. It needs to be a big one. Let's go see what we can do. So, the starting line today then is going to be Bradley Straker in goal, Jay Glover at right back, Grist, Muir and Sturge make up the rest of the defence with Hayden Lindley as the defensive midfielder. Although, now I'm looking at this, I am thinking, do I drop Matty James in there? Yes, I do. Let's swap them around, why not? So, Matty James can go and play as the defensive midfielder, Matthew Smith and Ryan Sturge in central midfield, with Cotter and Gullen on the wings, and Jaden Williams playing up top. Jaden Warnocky and Penn and Josh Skoll. Ollie Sanderson, Joe Duffy, Theo Eden, Terrell Pennant, Henry Jeffcott and Hayden Lindley are on the bench, which feels like I've probably overloaded that bench with wingers, but there's not a lot of options on there that I would trust to be in those positions. So I think we're just going to have to go with that unless I have a brainwave, but I'm not having one, so it's fine. You watch, I'll find I need a player that's not there almost immediately. It'll be fine. Matty James getting a run out as well, which is good for us on the channel. So let's see what we can do here against Northampton. Hopefully, hopefully we can get ourselves a win. Third round of the FA Cup would be huge. So in the dressing room, it's going to be a lot of, you've given a lot of credit lately. Got there put on a worthy display. People seem motivated. I was going to go straight forward, but I think we are going to have to go and make a difference. Make me proud kind of shout here, because if we don't do that, we're going to forget that we are playing a team from the division above. So let's go into the match preview. And I spotted a few names on the team sheet that popped up that I recognise, including Channel Legend back in Audit Mayo, who, of course, Swindon Legend as well with us last season on the game for a very long time. I think he got up to the Premier League with us, played every division up to the Premier League. Jordan Archer is definitely someone I've managed before. Uh, Lee Bird was with us at Sunderland. Uh, I remember Max Dyke being with us at Sunderland as well, off the top of my head. So a few players here that we have managed on the channel before, but they are the enemy now, and we have to go and get a result here against Northampton, who are wearing white. I always saw Northampton all like a dark red, but apparently they're wearing white today. We're not blue, and hopefully results will follow. Throw in, it's with Zach Sturge on the near side to Jaden Williams, back to Sturge. And he has time on the ball, as long as he uses it wisely. Sturt to James. James looking for Williams. Finds Sturge straight away with the ball. Can he find position for a cross? Gets one over. And Matthew Smith is there, but it goes just over the bar. And the police are out in force tonight. I don't know if you can hear that on recording. But that's it's been a theme tonight. Throw in again with Zach Sturge. And it's to go and back to Sturge. Sturge needs to find a good cross here. Beats his man, comes inside, doesn't really find one of our players with the cross, unfortunately. And now we are up against it. James just about gets away with that tackle, and Patterson's weaving his way through. But Sturge gets back to defend, puts the ball forward. Though Meyer will break that down. McWilliams 
Plenty of tie ball over the top. Now looking for Ladapo. Straker there to save him. But Patterson picks up a loose ball. And we are a goal behind for the first time in quite some time. We're a goal behind against a team that I genuinely believe have an opportunity to beat us. And things are not looking great so far. Frankly, the defending there was pretty terrible. Straker should have done more to hold on to that. You can lay the blame at almost anyone's feet, but alas... The blame, I think, falls at the hands of Randy Straker. So half-time has come, and it is 1-0 to Northampton. A few players are going to get read the right act in just a moment, but I feel like we're... Uh, everyone has more left to offer. That's actually a fair account. Uh, Jay Glover, however, and I think Jamie Gullen, we're going to do a point of the finger and say you've not been good enough so far. Get it together. Uh, there's a few guys in the 6.5. We're going to Mally James. And I'm not going to be too harsh on Jaden Williams because I forgot. And his performance dipped just for a thing. I think you know, make a difference, go out there and prove it. And then we're going to tell everyone else that they just need to get their act together. You weren't that bad. I still believe in you. Get yourselves fired up, kiddos. It's time to go out there and get ourselves a goal. Get ourselves back in the game or force a replay or whatever we have to do. Just to keep things moving. Throw it again for Sturge and to Matty Jane. Back to Sturge. Big ball forward looking for Sturge. Sturge needs to kind of improve it a little bit too. He's been very average as Matthew Smith plays it from Jaden Williams. Jaden Williams, can he do anything? Odemayo has brought him down. Is that going to cut the attention of the referee? Apparently not. But Gullen's picking up a loose ball. Goes back to Sturge. Finds Sturge. James. James in for Jaden Williams. Williams needs to turn here. Smith has a pop from range and it just goes over the bar. And honestly, I feel like that probably should have been a pen. But, you know, I'm also quite biased. So don't take my word for it. Calling now for Northampton. I made some wholesale changes to try and change things up. Jeff Cott is on the pitch. He's a right back as Gris heads that one away. Terrell Penn's corner right wing. Does Cottrell get injured? Olomayo has a pop. Aleofe. Ah, Smear gets it clear. Yeah, Penalton on the right wing and Kean Penalton on the left wing. Lindley on at defensive midfield. And I have sent Joe Duffy in for his usual hero turn to try and get a late goal for in place of Jaden Williams, who was having a bit of a howler. And I think I'm going to demand more from my team because I do need to see a goal coming very soon. Free kick now for Northampton and... Hopefully we won't concede another goal here. A better is stepping up over it. We need Straker to make a big save here, and he does. Are we going to do anything from this to counter-attack? That would be ideal. Big ball forward. Is anything coming here? Joe Duffy gets beaten in the air, but Sturge will pick up. Sturge has been surprisingly surprisingly solid despite the result. Duffy to Sturge. Back to Duffy. It comes off his heels. Morris. Picks it up to Ladapo, but Sturge will pick that one up again, and he needs to be the guy that builds from the back again. Muir goes forward, looking for Duffy, doesn't find him. Morris to Odomayo. Odomayo over the top, going to win this in the air here. Muir does win it, and now it's with Jeff got to Smith. Smith over the top, looking for Joe Duffy. Joe Duffy, through on goal. Can he finish? Joe Duffy with the finish. The equaliser is in, and one all. With just nine minutes to go, and Joe Duffy, always the hero with the late goals, does what he needs to do, but can he make it two? Braces are not unusual for Joe Duffy. He just needs to believe. Hopefully this will get the rest of the team believing in themselves a little bit more. We can do some encouragement after this, and hopefully we can encourage a second goal. We're going to get an offside check. Nowhere near it. Don't even try and tell me that was tight. It wasn't even close. Let's encourage the boys. Less than 10 minutes to go. Can we sneak a winner? So we're into injury time at the end of the second half. Time ticks away. Terrell Pennant with a free kick has a pop just wide. I think if Ben Cottrell had still been on the pitch, that probably would have been a very different outcome. But unfortunately, the injury many had to come off as Oromayo picks up the ball from the goal kick. Will we have some late heartbreak here? Big ball forward. We need to get on top of this. Straker to Sturge. Finds Lindley back to Grist. Plenty of time for Grist here. Finds Matthew Smith to Terrell Pennant. Pennant finds Jeffcott. Jeffcott needs to release someone here. Safe ball back to Grist. To Lindley. Lindley avoids getting his pocket picked with a ball to Muir. Finds Sturk. 
Stark needs to be able to create something here though. Terrell Pennant. Can Terrell Pennant create something? Lindley to get a pop from range. I felt that winding up. Sturge. Sturge going down to the byline. Can he put a cross in? Lays the ball off to Lindley. Finds Smith. Smith with a pop from range and he puts it over again. And I think we need to stop Smith from shooting from that kind of range because clearly not his strongest suit as Archer goes with the goal kick to Gibbons at right back. We've got to get back, cover this. Don't want any danger here. Sturge gets in the way to put it out for a throw in. Kill some time. We're trying to earn a replay here. I think the boys have decided they just want a replay. They're too tired. Warbank to Fredrickson. Finds Morris. We've got to get some defensive work going here. Sturk makes a tackle, but it's just disruptive rather than actually winning the ball back. Grist heads it to Sturk. Lindley forward. Duffy now on the ball. And that's the final whistle. And we have got ourselves a replay for next episode, which is just what we needed at the moment. I will tell the boys they've done well to come back and salvage a draw, because that's probably a fair assessment of things, if we're honest. And hopefully we can bring them back to our place. Maybe sneak a win, still get the third round, you know, on the cards. And who knows, maybe there's a big opponent coming. We're not going to do the cup draw today, because... I feel like I don't want to tease us with getting like a Manchester United or a Liverpool or a City away and then us lose. That will be just heartbreaking. We will we'll find out who we're playing. Well, I'll find out before the game. You'll find out if we go through. And if we don't go through, maybe I'll do it. Here's what we could have won. Either way, let's uh, let's see what the, uh, the rest of the episode has in store. I think it's just going to be a wrap-up. In fact, I know it's just going to be a wrap-up. Because I can tell you for sure that we are going to be playing the next the replay, the replay against Northampton in the next episode on Monday. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I have always been chasing lamely. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave some stuff in the comments, share it with your friends, all that good stuff. And uh, as always, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Until next time, have a good one.